One of the classic examples from introductory mechanics is an object that rolls without slipping. For this illustration, there are four objects that will roll down identical tracks as a sort of race of shapes. The details of the dynamics may be a bit complex, however, there is much that can be determined from an elementary analysis of mechanical energy because the total mechanical energy is conserved. The potential energy of the rolling object is essentially the energy stored in the object's height. The kinetic energy is the energy associated with motion and has two parts. The translational kinetic energy, which is associated with the overall motion of the object, and the rotational kinetic energy, which is associated with the rotation of the object about its center of mass. The total energy is then the sum of the kinetic and potential. It is useful here that the total energy is conserved, that is, its value will not change during the motion. Furthermore, because our object starts from rest, there is no initial kinetic energy, and thus the total energy is determined strictly from the initial height. One additional useful result is that the kinetic energy will be proportional to the change in the object's height. The next important ingredient for energy analysis is that the object rolls without slipping, and so that the angular velocity omega is simply related to the object's speed v. With some algebra, an expression for v can be obtained. One easy result is that, at a given height, the greater the rotational inertia i, the slower the speed of the object. A quick look at the rotational inertia formula for each example object shows that the objects have been ordered from greatest to smallest rotational inertia. As a result, the hoop with the largest rotational inertia will lose, while the rod with the smallest rotational inertia will win. Curiously, because the formula for the speed only depends upon the inertia divided by the radius squared, the race result would be the same even if the objects were different sizes but had the same shapes.